Hello everyone, so today I will be discussing question number 50, set 2, Gate Civil Engineering 2022. Consider two linearly elastic rods, H i and i j, each of length b as shown in the figure. The rods are collinear and confined between two fixed supports H and j. Both the rods are initially stress-free. The coefficient of thermal expansion is alpha for both the rods. The temperature of the rod i j is increased by delta t whereas the temperature of the rod Hi remains unchanged. An external horizontal force P is now applied at the node I. It is given that alpha is 10 to the power minus 6 per degree Celsius, delta T is 50 degree Celsius, B is 2 meter and AE is 10 to the power 6 newton. The axial rigidities of the rods Ij and Hi are AE and 2AE respectively. To make the axial force in the rod Hi equal to 0, we need to find the value of external force P. It is a fill in the blanks type of question having two marks and no negative marking. For a detailed lecture on this, you can refer to analysis of strain, fourth lecture series on strength of materials by Professor S.K. Bhattacharya, Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Kharagpur. Let us discuss the concept for this problem. So whenever there is a change in the temperature and the material is constrained, then the stresses are developed in the material and these stresses are known as temperature stresses. No stresses are developed in an unconstrained material. Let us suppose there is a bar of length L and we increase the temperature of this bar by delta T. So what will happen since this bar is unconstrained? So there will be an increase in the length of the bar due to increase in the temperature. So what will be the value of delta? Let us call it delta 1 will be equal to length times alpha delta t. Okay. So remember since this is an unconstrained material so no stresses will develop in case A. Let us see another case in which the same bar is having supports at both the ends. So in this case there is a and the temperature of the bar is increased by same delta t. So in this case, the stress will develop in the bar, we will call it sigma. So the, the value of stress will be such that the deformation of stress due to this stress sigma will balance the deformation due to temperature. So what, will it, what is the deformation due to this sigma? The deformation due to this stress sigma, let us call it as delta 2, will be sigma L by E. So, in order to find the value of stress which is developed, we will equate delta 1 and delta 2. So, from this value of sigma will be E alpha delta T. Let us see one more case. So, in case the support yields by A amount. So, in this case, the stresses will be developed such that the deformation due to the stress will only have to balance delta 1 minus A amount, not the entire delta 1 amount. So the we will equate the delta 1 minus A amount to the deformation due to stress in order to find the value of sigma, that is the stress. So what is delta 1? That is the deformation due to temperature. It is L alpha delta T minus the support yield equal to the deformation due to stress that is sigma L by E. So from this we can easily find out the value of sigma which is L alpha delta T minus A times E by L. Keeping these concepts in mind let us find the solution for our problem. So in our problem it is given that the temperature of bar Ij is increased by delta T. So when the temperature is increased it will undergo some deformation. At the same time, it is given that the external load P is applied such that the force in the bar H i is 0. This also impl implies that deformation of the bar H i is 0. This can only be possible if the deformation due to the external load P balances the deformation in the bar I j due to increase in temperature. So let us equate these two deformation. What will be delta P? It will be P, the length of bar B, 
by a e what will be the deformation due to the increase in temperature delta t it will be length of the bar alpha delta t so the value of p will be b will be cancelled will be a e alpha delta t the value of a e is 10 to the power 6 alpha is given 10 to the power minus 6 and change in temperature is 50 degrees celsius so the value of p will be in newton and it will be 50 newton so this is our final answer the value of applied force will be 50 newton